everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about seed swaps seed swaps are a great thing to participate in to maybe find some seeds that you can't find anymore to get rid of your extra seeds and trade them for some seeds that you don't have and a great way to try before you buy if there's a variety out there that you're on the fence about and somebody might have to trade with you. Seed swaps are excellent. So today, I'm going to show you what I received from participating in one, right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so these are the seeds that I got from the seed swap. I had already tried shooting a video, but it uh, was corrupted. It didn't work. So this is take number two. It happens at times. So this is the seeds that I got from the seed swap. It's in a very big, nice size bowl. I participated with uh, approximately 47 other people in my personal trades. I had uh, sent in some trades for the round robin, which is basically like a lottery pool. You send in so many seeds and you get so many seeds back. But then you are able to do one-on-one -on -one trades with different individuals in the group to uh, get seeds that you would like and they can get seeds that they would like. Um, so it works very well. So this is what I received and we'll go through them a little bit. We got the uh, crookneck squash. This is some peppers. Some of these you might not be able to read just because I'm not sure if the camera will pick these up. These are sugar and peas. Mark it more. We uh, got some okra. chives, eggplant, indigo blue beauty tomatoes. I have to look those up. I don't know what those actually look like. This is really cool. These are Cherokee black bean uh, trail of tears. This is a multi-purpose bean. Uh, you can grow it and eat it uh, when it's younger as a snap bean or let it dry out and use these kind of like you would black beans. They're very good multi-purpose bean. Jimmy Nardello's Sweet Big Red Pepper Sweet Sun Bright Pepper Let's see. Spaghetti Squash this one I'll definitely have to look up because I have no idea what it is. That was in the round robin. Yellow currant tomatoes. I did grow some red currant tomatoes a couple years ago. They were kind of interesting. Currant tomatoes are very, very tiny. They are like the smallest uh, tomato you can grow. This package is very, very special. Um, it's a broom corn. This is what people actually make corn brooms out of and this is the Amish rainbow blend um, when I googled this I would just fell in love with the plant so I uh, traded for this particular plant I'm really excited I have some asters some cantaloupe some Rio Grande tomatoes Acorn squash is the sweet potato variety. We have some green zinnias. We have some hops, which I'm excited about. I grow a lot of medicinal herbs, so when I saw that somebody had hops uh, available, I grabbed those up. We have some banana peppers and purple emperor nasturtiums. These are parsnips. 
some purple kohlrabi, black creme tomatoes, 1500 year old cave bean pole beans, really neat, black semen tomatoes, red coneflower that'll go nice in my garden with the other coneflowers I'm growing. Green coxcomb. Or no, that was green, um, yep, yeah, the green coxcomb. I have quite a few different nasturtium varieties that I trade for. Um, quite a few peach melbas are in here. So this is one package. Some yellow hollyhocks. I uh, traded for quite a few hollyhock varieties. So I have a lot of different colors for my uh, bees. Black velvet nasturtiums. Harlequin marigolds. This is an orange zinnia. Oda pepper. Some more nasturtiums. These are the Alaskan mixed nasturtium. Some more hollyhocks. Stinging nettle. Now with this plant you have to be careful when you are growing it. It can easily become invasive. But if you plant it in a small planter or uh, area where you can easily maintain it, as long as you keep it from flowering and growing seeds, uh, this plant is, uh, you can make sure it doesn't get you. So chocolate cherry sunflower, and then quite a few diff different uh, mini peppers. These are horn peppers. We have the yellow, the red, the orange, and the chocolate. Some more nasturtiums. Rattlesnake pole bean, really cool. Hollyhocks. And some more asters and the purple prince zinnia. More hollyhocks. And this one I was given to you just because uh, she wanted to make sure I had enough uh, pollinator friendly plants. So I'll have to look this one up too because I'm not sure what this is. I had quite a few people that I could get some holy basil from so I could grow that this year. It's a very good medicinal plant. Lemon mint just because I love mints. Another nasturtium. Oops. Some more holy basil. Nasturtium. Nasturtium. Purslane. A lot of uh, people have purslane that grows wild in their gardens and they try to get rid of it. I'm actually trying to grow it, so I'm glad I found some purslane seeds. Fennel. Some more nasturtiums. These are zinnias. Hollyhocks. More hollyhocks. And this one I think is holy basil. Holy basil. More nasturtiums, some more purslane, nasturtium, Cherokee wax bean. This is a very nice bean. I grew it last year, so exciting that I've got some more. Red totsoy. I've grown green totsoy, so I'm really excited to add the red to my garden. Have some lemon basil, more nasturtiums, more nasturtiums, okay. the 
This is the Red Malabar Spinach. St. John's Wort. Quite a few different basils and lettuces here. And onions. And watermelon. Moringa. Polka dot bachelor buttons. When I saw these, I was really excited. I have the other varieties of, of bachelor buttons in my garden, uh, but to add the polka dot is just going to kind of round out the varieties. Calypso beans. I was excited when somebody had some of these. I think there's another one in here. There it is. Calypso beans. They're really, really cool. Uh, they kind of look like cows. <laughs> but I tried growing these this year and they didn't do so well. Um, so I didn't have a lot of seeds saved to uh, regrow them next year. So when I saw somebody had Calypso beans, I uh, grabbed those up so I can try growing them again. These are peas, red peas. Um, they kind of look like the Tennessee red peanuts, but they're actually peas. So I got a couple of these this year. Turban squash. Some more nasturtiums. Cosmos. Candle lilies. Wintergreen. Mexican hat coneflower. Really excited to add some more coneflower varieties. Tequila Sunrise Snapdragon. Really like that. These are Hadatsa beans. Really nice uh, dry bean. There's some more of the Tennessee red clay peas. More nasturtiums. I got a lot of nasturtiums, so really excited about that. Let's see. These are the purple potted pole beans. I try to grow more uh, beans besides just green, so we got some purple going on. Let's see. Some more holy basil. More nasturtiums. Pink Surprise Calendula. I was excited when I saw this in the trade because I really wanted to try that. Candy Cane Zinnias. I was excited to see these as well. Basically a nice try before you buy. This is Romanesco Broccoli. I have uh, some Purple Siberian Iris. This is a crookneck squash. This is some more green coxcomb, I believe. Yep, green coxcomb. And last but not least, certainly not least, was this um, beautiful thing. I was so excited when I saw somebody had these. These are the Tiger Eye Pinto beans. Baker Creek had carried them a couple years ago, and they were highly recommended by Living Traditions Homestead just a wonderful, wonderful, uh, bountiful plant for pinto beans. So when I saw that somebody had these in the seed swap, I was so excited because I can't find these anymore. So uh, seed swaps, uh, this is one of the reasons to participate is you'll find some seeds that maybe you can't actually buy anymore. So I'm so excited about that. So I hope that you found my little stash of seed swap goodies to be uh, exciting and inspiring and so on and so forth and maybe get you to want to participate in a seed swap because they're like a Christmas uh, wonderful white elephant thing. It's just interesting to participate in one. And uh, if you can't find a local seed swap, check out for some seed libraries or things like that where you can check out seeds and grow them for a season and then return seeds from the plants that you grew. 
those are great, wonderful, try before you buy ways of just checking out different varieties in your area. If you found this video exciting or interesting, please give it the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you can follow me along on my journey. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Take care, everybody.